In parallel, Cisco has been working on a similar solution for the infrastructure and network layer called ACI. And together, we've been working with the ACI team to provide a deep integration between AppDynamics and ACI. Organizations that are using both of these technologies will now start to experience unparalleled visibility, insight, and actioning across domains. And this is a big deal. In fact, what we're giving you is a central nervous system that's starting to pull information and telemetry from any part of your technology stack and start to co-mingle that information so you can really understand the deeper impact of a network change or an infrastructure change or an application change on your end user experience. So with that, I'm thrilled to announce that today, uh, AppDynamics and ACI integration is available to all our customers. Um, to show us a little bit about that, I'd like to invite up Devarshi Shah. Devarshi is the technical marketing engineer for uh, ACI. So Devarshi, uh, we spent a little bit of time earlier in the session talking about how AppDynamics provides end-to-end -end visibility. And one of the things we do is we look at network and infrastructure through the lens of an application. Think of it as a really broad way of looking at is your network or infrastructure affecting your application? But ACI is a much deeper look at that from a diagnostics and, and management perspective. Can you share a little bit about what ACI does and uh, just recognize this is a audience predominantly of DevOps uh, uh, folks. So maybe uh, share with them a little bit of what. So this is the audience who yeah. gives me a call at two in the night, the it, network ops. Exactly, exactly. Cool. So ACI is the most widely deployed SDN solution in the industry. Your workloads are running in different environments. They could be running in your data center on-prem, they could be running in colos, they could be running at the edge, or in the public cloud. And these workloads are either virtualized, bare metal servers, or containers even. ACI is the network for all of them. Now, ACI is primarily an SDN-based architecture, so you have a controller, which is the brains behind the entire network. What ACI does is it automates the connectivity of your endpoints, network operations monitoring, and it has a consistent security policy model, so you can have uh, your compliance needs taken care of. The policy model of ACI is completely open, which has enabled us to build a rich ecosystem of 65 plus technology partners, and App Dynamics being one of the most important ones. Great. Now, it's been great working with, with all of you, and again, historically, these have been two very different worlds, right? They have, have been uh, separated in many ways, not just uh, in, from the technology and the data model, but also in terms of the users, and today's announcement really brings those two worlds together in a, in a new way. Let's take a look, let's see how this works. Sure. So, so what you are seeing on the screen right now is the network dashboard on the AppD controller. And you see a bunch of application components which are connected to each other by the ACI fabric. Now the network dashboard right now, uh, you see the different components being pretty healthy. They are following the baselines that have been established. But what happens in the real world? You have application being deployed at a very rapid rate and the network has to keep up with it. And a lot of time what happens is that networking policies might be misconfigured or might not keep up with the requirements of the application. This leads to application performance degradation. Let's switch over to the live demo and see what happens then. So this is the exact same application that you saw earlier in a healthy state, but because of a configuration error in the network, you see the order tier, which is uh, highlighted in red, some health rule violations happening. And if I drill down further, I can see two links that are going out of the order tier, one to a load balancer and the second to the payment tier. And if you look closer on the link between order and payment, see a lot of network errors happening, performance impacting errors happening. So we can take a look at this uh, on the AppD dashboard by looking at the network performance metrics. And as you can see, we have a lot of retransmits going on, TCP losses going on. So it clearly alludes to a networking issue that's there. And with this integration, what we've done is we've given you the ability to go from AppD into ACI with the exact context of the error that's happening in the network. So we can go ahead and say, go to connections and troubleshoot on ACI. So we are going into ACI and the controller for ACI, which is APIC, 
And what you see here is the visibility and troubleshooting dashboard for ACI. Yeah, now this is, uh, uh, it's easy to get lost in, in sort of the technology here for, for a minute. So let me bring it up for uh, up a level for a second. So what we saw in AppDynamics was the order tier calling the payment tier from the application perspective. And we started to recognize and isolate to say, hey, there seems to be a problem here that's associated with the network, right? But we didn't have the diagnostics to go deep into the network at the, at, the, at the level that something like ACI does. We've come over directly into ACI, and now we're looking at the same order tier to payment tier call, but at the network level. Right. That's, that's precisely right, David. So what you see here on the screen is the networking topology as it relates to these two application components. So you see here uh, the application uh, order tier is connected to the switch uh, leaf 102, and the payment tier is connected to leaf 103 right here, and both of these switches are connected to the spine, so you see the networking topology evolve. Now, once you have this, you have an idea of what's going on in the network and how is uh, my application connected to the network. The second thing that you can do is you can go into drops and statistics and see if there are any drops happening at the network level. So this will load up uh, in just a moment where you will see uh, if there are any faults associated with the network. So you don't see any drops on Leaf 101, the interface that is connected to the order tier. But if I go here, I do see some drops happening on Leaf 103, which has uh, the payment tier connected to it. So this gives me an idea of where the drops are happening. I can go down even further and take a look at the contract. So contract is a policy construct which defines ACL as well as forwarding for ACI. And if I look at the source to destination contract here, I can see some hits for a deny, which means the packets are getting dropped here. Right. So if I fix this, the issue will be resolved. So it was the network that was causing the problem. In this case. Uh, okay, so this is a really big deal, right? Because uh, how often have we seen people working in these individual silos having to make the best decision they know how to on behalf of their, uh, their companies and their, and their customers? And here was a, a relatively straightforward security policy change that had all these unintended consequences up the stack that ended up negatively impacting the customers and the business, right? And so by bringing these domains together, we really understand end to end what the impact is. How is this possible? I mean, these have been historically so divided at so many levels. How did we bring these together? So this is done, this is made possible by the data models that we have on AppD as well as ACI. The policy model that we have on ACI is very similar to that of AppD. And what I'm going to show you on the screen right now is the view of both these policy models merged together and shown to a network operator. So what you see here at the bottom are the application components that are discovered by AppD, nodes, which network admins did not have any idea of which networking component it relates to. So if you go further up the tree, this is how each and every node and how each and every tier of the application relates to your networking components, how it is connected to the fabric, how it is uh, having security policies configured. So this is a very powerful view, and this is possible because of the model. Great. Thank you, Devarshi. It's been great working with you and the entire ACI team, and look forward to a lot more collaboration in the years ahead. Thank, Thank you, you, David. So uh, at AppD, we've always said that collecting metrics is cheap. Um, we, there are lots of ways you can collect a lot of telemetry. The power is in correlating those metrics. We believe that's where the value is truly created. And correlating AppDynamics data model with the ACI's data model is a huge step forward for us and for our joint customers.